So I got a new pair of Ultra Boost today that I'm kind of excited to see in person and try out because uh, they have had a couple of other releases similar to these, but uh, this is the first time we've actually seen a pair like this without a collaboration behind it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Yo, what is going on guys? Has here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. And while you're down there, if you guys wanna fill around with the uh, the like button, feel free to like the video if you guys appreciate it. So let's go ahead and jump in because this is gonna be an interesting one. This is a pair of sneakers that we've seen a couple of times and this is a DNA pair released for Adidas Boost Week again recently. And if you guys are actually interested in buying a pair, you can check them in the description. The very first images of these shoes, I was like, okay, I kind of want to see these in hand and see if this is a pair that, uh, that brings me back a little bit and it is a really nice colorway. So this is a, a nice version of a cageless ultra boost with a 1.0 pattern on the toe, triple black even with the blacked out midsole and then black heel cup with a gold ultra boost logo on it. So this definitely looks very familiar. It looks like the Hypebeast collaboration from 2015, the uncaged version that they had back then. They were selling at their peak 2017-18 era for $2,500. Uh, no joke, looked it up on StockX. That's what the price was. It was a very, very sought after collaboration. And now you have, in my opinion, a better version of that because you have a black outsole as well as a black midsole and then a black heel cage as well. These are sitting at retail for $180. So $2,500 at their peak. Now you can get the uh, regular version in a prime blue even, which is the recycled polyester upper. So it's a little bit better for the environment. But for somebody like myself, I'm like, dude, this is a, like a, such a good opportunity to get something that was like thriving back then. And I wanted the shoe just because I wanted it, not because it was super hyped and limited. And now you have a GR version that is sitting in full size run that was executed really well. I'm definitely one of those people that chases nostalgia and obviously the sneaker wall behind me, I mean, you can't see it, but the top ones, all nostalgic retros that I have from back in the day. But um, but it, this is an opportunity for those people that wanted uh, those hyped up shoes back when the peak was, and now you can have them. And in my opinion, an even better version because again, it's all triple black. And I don't really love Ultra Boost with the white outsoles on them. I definitely prefer a black uh, outsole and the Hypebeast ones had the white outsole. But I know some people are gonna be angry because they released these and it's kind of taken away a little bit from the, the previous pair. But in my opinion, it's good for two reasons. One, it satiates the palette for somebody like myself that isn't gonna be buying the original Hypebeast collaboration because it's just too ridiculous, too expensive. And so now I have an option where I can actually buy a pair. So it's gonna put a very similar product on my feet. But the other thing is it's not a disservice necessarily to the original because a lot of people would be probably more angry if they re-released the same exact one. This is not the same exact one, it's a different variation. And I didn't realize that plastic made this much of a difference, but these are crazy lightweight comparison to these. I don't know why. In fact, they're so light that I wanna break out my scale and just see what they weigh. So the regular Ultra Boost 5.0 is 11.5 ounces. And these are 10.2 ounces. So it's almost an ounce and a half difference, uh, which is actually kind of significant. Surprisingly, these are only 10 ounces comparison to the others. So they feel really nice and light. And for me, I'm gonna remove the insole when I wear these and they're 9.6 ounces uh, without the insole and without the cage. So this is a really nice lightweight alternative for those that want an Ultra Boost and like that squishy comfort of the Ultra Boost. In my opinion, a super sleeper, really nice release from Boost Week, had my attention as soon as I saw them. There was a couple of them that I for sure wanted to try. This was one of them. Happy that I did, like the look of the shoe, love the fact that it's kind of a nod to some of the collaborations that we saw. So we had Hypebeast, we also had a Soulbox collaboration that had the cageless look to it. The Hypebeast collaborations are still selling for three, four, five hundred dollars as well. So there's actually some hype behind that one still. There was also a Haven triple black colorway that was also released that was cageless, but the pattern on the toe box was different, as well as it had like a fused mud guard across the toe. But that one was a triple black version as well. And the last uncaged version that they had was the CBC version, which actually got pulled off of shelves if I remember correctly, it was a celebrating black culture uh, release that really didn't fit the mold. Like, I don't think that they were really thinking that it was gonna have the backlash that it is, especially in today's like temperature. It's just not a really good release. So it was a great looking shoe though, but that one I believe got pulled 
Um, and that was the other one that more recently released uh, with the uncaged look. Now Adidas also had an uncaged Ultra Boost back in the day, but the knit pattern was completely different and it was really, really snug around the collar. And I had a couple pairs of those as well. They weren't a bad shoe, but I really didn't love the snug fit around the collar. Uh, I prefer the OG sort of styling much, much better. So this is a great welcome uh, pair of sneakers into my collection. And if you guys wanna buy a pair, check the link in the description and you can go to Adidas site and buy your own pair. 180 at retail, you're not paying extra for the Black Boost, which is a plus. And in my opinion, this looks like a collab and it just isn't. So uh, kind of happy about that and glad that I was able to scoop one up. This is interesting too, on the inside of the Boost, you can see the black kind of wraps around on the inside. Uh, I haven't seen that before ever on the inside of Boost. So that's a first. Also, if you guys missed it, I did an Ultra Boost 5.0 uh, review already, and I did a comparison to the other knit patterns on that video. So if you guys wanna go check that one out, uh, please feel free to do so as well. But that is uh, the end of the video. Thank you guys again for stopping by and watching. Have a good rest of the day. Subscribe again if you guys are new. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, and we'll see you guys hopefully back for some more videos. Peace, guys.